My name is Nicholas Fong and I work for WWF Malaysia. Sabah is home to some of the world's most iconic species that need to be kept safe. We are striving to protect this unique biodiversity through the jurisdictional approach to produce sustainable palm oil for the whole of Sabah State in East Malaysia. WWF Malaysia's contribution to the jurisdictional approach is a program called Living Landscapes Program. And there are three pillars, protect, produce, restore. Firstly, it looks at protect. It's where these forest reserves are located and that's where all animals are living. The second pillar is produce, which is in the agricultural space. That's where we want to build on the government regulation for Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil Certification as a step towards the internationally recognized roundtable on sustainable palm oil. And finally, we have restore. This is where we are working with companies to connect two large forested landscape by creating a wildlife corridor that is important for animals to move from one forest to another. The first pillar, protect. We are working with governments in protected area like Tau Hills Park, Ulu Kalumpang Forest Reserve to try to protect this important area for wildlife so that they can thrive. Sabah Forestry Department is working very closely eh, with the other government departments eh, to support the jurisdiction approach uh, to palm oil production because we see that this initiative is a very important uh, initiative to balance out conservation and sustainable development. And certification of palm oil production is necessary, especially in addressing issues, eh, for example, chemicals or labor standards. And it is not sufficient to safeguard wildlife population, forest resources, or ecosystem services by itself. So we need bigger perspective. And I think uh, we have done to achieve great conservation efforts in Sabah that could in fact benefit the other sectors, especially palm oil. And then secondly, it's the produce. We are working with companies like Sawit Kinabalu to see how we can drive conservation and at the same time sustainability. Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil, in short MSPO, is the national standard for oil palm and its product. RSPO, Roundable Sustainable Palm Oil, is the international standard. And if I want me to compare it with uh, Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil, certain principles they are more stringent. Uh, for example, if it's MSPO, we need to do high biodiversity value assessment. Whereas for RSPO, we need to do HCV, which is a very comprehensive assessment when we come to identifying high conservation value in our estates. I would also believe that by having this standard, not only for a big company like us, it also will help our smallholders to actually improve their livelihood by having extra income by selling certified sustainable palm oil. Kami di sini disediakan rumah, air, keselamatan terjamin, kesehatan, pendidikan anak-anak pun disediakan lah. Sebagai inilah pekerja ladang sungai balong. Kami sangat gembira lah sebab majikan tanggung semuanya. Terlebihan dulu, eh, tidak seberapa tebal yang ini sekarang makin cantik. Pengeresapan racun pun tidak 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 cepat rosak. Perubahannya eh, RSPO dibilang orang menjaga alam sekitar, dilarang mem membuat pembakaran terbuka dan dilarang membuar merata, sampah merata-rata tempat. Bagi pendapat saya, kelapa sawit juga penting, hutan pun penting. Sama-sama lah masalah hutan itu menjaga alam sekitar. We've been really thinking for the last several years of what next to come, and we understand that you know not only do we look at our own supply chain, that we have to go beyond our supply chain and partnering with uh, local governments, civil society organizations, and also our business peers um, in order to create the transformation that we want. Finally, under the Restore component, we are working with Sabah Softwoods, working to plant trees to try to connect corridor that leads to two large forest landscapes.
I was in WF Malaysia. I've been working since 1981. 2004, we lost about 500,000 value of crop damages. Most of the damage is done by elephants. So the management of Sabah with the assistant from WF Malaysia, decided to put aside this corridor to divert wildlife away from the plantation. A wildlife corridor is actually a connectivity area which it connects an isolated or fragmented forest reserve to a larger forest block. So here in Sabah Sawfoods, we actually established a wildlife corridor since 2012. So it links the Ulu Kalumpang Forest Reserve and Tower Hills Park to the Ulu Segama Forest, which is part of the larger Central Forest Complex. So it actually helps uh, facilitate the movement of elephants between these uh, two forests so that they can move from the isolated forest to uh, the larger forest block. Harapan saya untuk terutamanya kawasan Mulai Perido ini agar di, dijaga sepenuhnya lah demi untuk kehidupan liar sejagat dan ianya juga amat penting bagi kita menjaganya sebab kehidupan liar ini adalah kezanah negara bagi kita. By having this corridor from 2014 onwards, we are able to reduce our crop damages to 5,000 in the year 2018. That's a very good indication that corridor is functioning very well and also reducing our human health conflicts in our plantation sectors. As responsible Malaysian, we should be proud of our natural heritage. We should protect our wildlife and we should protect the last remaining forest that we have by linking it through the sustainable production of palm oil through RSPO certification as one way of driving sustainability. Through the Living Landscape Program, I do hope that uh, we can achieve the goal. We want to see the forest remain protected, the wildlife is thriving so that the younger generation and even my children can be able to see that when they grow up. I would like to thank our key partner Sabah Softwood Berhads in their effort to restore the wildlife corridor to support the wildlife movement and not forgetting our donor Unilever for supporting the Living Landscape program. Thank you.